Magara, Umushitsi Mukuru, Minister Judith Wizeye, Minister Uri President, Rwanda, Aze, Atujezeho, Ijambori Kuru, Rujumunsi. Murakoze, Dajirango Mumfashe, Tumachi, Retwe, Se. Murakoze, Chane. Murakoze cyane Nyakubahwa Ted Wilson President wa Torero rya Adventiste munsi wa karindwe kwisi na madam Nyakubahwa Ministre w'ubutegetsi bw'igihugu Nyakubahwa Mukuru w'urwego RGP Banya Chubahiro Munze Gozareta Mutera Niehano Banya Kubahwa Bayobo Zibidini Yaba Divantiste Munzo Akari Nungui Munze Gozo Seuko Zikurichirana Banya Kubahwa Mahagara Riyamatore Nama Dini Murugwanda Bizera Ba Kristu bitore rorya ba Divantiste munsi wa karindwi mbanje kubasuhuza maranata nejejwe no kuba hano uyu munsi mfite impu ebyiri urwambere nk'umu Divantiste munsi wa karindwi Hanyuma nanone murundi ruhu rwuhagarariye leta y'u Rwanda muri bibirori Ahangaha ndagira ngo mvuge ko ntaje gusenga gusa ahubwo naje no mukazi Ariko abayobozi ntibandebe nabi kuko nakoze ku munsi w'isabato ahubwo ngira ngo biri mu nshingano zanjye nejejwe rero no kubana namwe kuri uyu munsi udasanzwe itorero rya Adventiste mu munsi wa karindwi ryizihizaho isabu kuri imyaka ijana rigeze mu Rwanda ndagira ngo kandi nshimire itorero rya Adventiste mu munsi wa karindwi uburyo byateguye ibi birori byiza byo kwizihiza uyu munsi w'isabukuru mu izina rya guverinoma rero ndagira ngo nshimire ubuyobozi bw'iri torero ndetse nshimire n'abakirisitu bose ubufatanye mugaragaza mu gushyira mu bikorwa gahunda zitandukanye zigamije iterambere ry'igihugu cyacu ubufatanye ndetse n'imikoranire hagati y'itorero rya Adventiste y'umunsi wa karindwi na leta bimaze igihe kirekire kandi ni myiza cyane mu yandi magambo ni nta makemwe bavandimwe mwese muteraniye hano ndagira ngo mbasabe mpindure mu rundi rurimi uko niyo mpamvu yatumye ndakenera umusemuzi kugira ngo gahunda zihute mbashe no kubwira abashyitsi bacu dufashe n'umuvandimwe wacu yarananiwe cyane ngira ngo mpindure mu rundi rurimi kugira ngo abashyitsi nabo babashe kumva your excellency pastor Ted Wilson distinguished guests ladies and gentlemen on behalf of the government of Rwanda i would like to once again welcome all our visitors to Rwanda and convey our sincere gratitude for dedicating this precious time to come to Rwanda. Let me say, enjoy your stay here in Rwanda. In particular, 
Our country is blessed to host His Excellency Pastor Ted Wilson, the President of the General Conference of SDA Church, and his wife, and they are very good friends of Rwanda, I know. <laughs> Allow me also to mention that um, our country is equally blessed to host different officials and dignitaries who came from different parts of the world to celebrate with us this centenary jubilee. The huge turn up in today's event and jubilations reflect the happiness of the members of the SDA Church in Rwanda, not only for celebrating this memorable day, but also for celebrating it with wonderful brothers and sisters like you. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the celebration of 100 years of the existence of this church in Rwanda embodies a strong message in the context of Rwanda. Actually, as one of oldest churches in Rwanda, the SDA church shares a long history with our country, a history of darkness and shadow, and history of light, hope, and future aspirations. In fact, the church in Rwanda has a double faceted history. First, the church was used in the sowing of ethnic-based divisions among Rwandans that led to 1994 genocide against the Tutsi, the most horrific genocide the world has ever known. It is very hard to understand how such tragedy could happen in a country where over 95% of the population were baptized Christians. I've been informed that tomorrow His Excellency Dr. Ted Wilson and his delegation will visit Kigali Genocide the Memorial to pay tribute to thousands of souls laid to rest there. This will help you to understand well our horrific history, but also our impressive rebirth and reconstruction journey. The second facet of the church in Rwanda that is the most important now presents the vital role played by the church in the rebirth and reconciliation journey after the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi. Distinguished guests, Ladies and gentlemen, in the aftermath of the genocide against the Tutsi, our country needed the support of different partners to restore the society and the nation that was totally destroyed. Today, the government of Rwanda commends the role played by the church in trauma healing unity and reconciliation, forgiveness, and the other areas involving social and economic development. The Seventh-day Adventist Church in Rwanda remains a strong stakeholder in this country. Through its various interventions in the area of education, health, and social welfare, The government of Rwanda commends the SDA Church in Rwanda for significantly 
contributing towards social economic transformation of our country. For instance, SDA Church operates schools at all levels, as well as health facilities, such as health centers, clinics, and hospitals across the country. We, are, we have also been informed that the church is soon launching a medical school of excellence. The government of Rwanda remains strongly grateful to SDA Church for the invaluable contribution in transforming the lives of our people. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to emphasize that the government of Rwanda guarantees right of religion and freedom of worship as provided for in our constitution. The SDA Church is a typical witness of that freedom. Today, thousands of SDA Church members have traveled from all corners of the country to attend this event while the rest of the population were carrying out the monthly community work commonly known as Umuganda. <laughs> However, in the framework of guaranteeing freedom of worship, SDA church members are granted the exceptional permission to observe their Sabbath on such a day and conduct the Omoganda on Sunday. The government of Rwanda and SDA Church are good partners in the common vision of transforming the lives of our people. Therefore, the government pledges the continuation collaboration of the SDA Church to the realization of health and spiritual citizens to whom we are all accountable. Your Excellency, Ted Wilson, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude my remarks, I would like to once again thank all our guests for being with us today for those who still have some days to be here in Rwanda, enjoy this unviable climate in the country of Thousand Hills. I also wish the entire SDA community joyful celebrations. Bakristu bene data bayobozi mu nzego zitandukanye muri hano mbere yuko nsoza iri jambo ndagira ngo nongere nsabe itorero ry'abadivantiste mu nsi wa karindwi gukomeza imikoranire myiza na leta muri gahunda n'ibikorwa bitandukanye bigamije iterambere n'imibereho myiza y'abanyarwanda ndetse no gusigasira ibyiza tumaze kugeraho ndagira ngo rero mbifurize ibirori byiza kuri mwese kandi amahoro y'Imana akomeza abane namwe Imana ikomeze kubaho umugisha murakoze